Hello everyone, my name is Scousey. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today is going to be a follow-up to this 2x1 piston door that we made a while back. And we're going to be answering the most popular question we had in the comments was how to add an input to both sides of the door. At the moment, it's just got to leave on one side, but we're going to show you how to do it from both sides. The way we're going to do this is using a very simple T-flip-flop, okay? Um, it sounds scary but it's not. All we're going to do, we're going to get ourselves a dropper and have it facing backwards. It doesn't really matter where you do this. And then another one next to it facing upwards and then one on top of the upwards one facing back to where you put the first one. And then on top of that first one, you're going to crouch click and have a, a hopper. And then in this dropper here, you're just going to place one item, just one simple item. And then we're going to have a comparator coming out of it. And then we'll have a repeater just to give the signal a bit of a boost. And then we're just going to link this up to our input. Like so. And it's actioned the door already there. And that's fine. So that is the switch itself. All we then need to do is add our inputs. So I'm just going to take a redstone line from this back dropper. Okay. And then I'm going to split it two ways. And then it's just a case of adding an input to either side. So the door opens there, so we could then walk through and then close it. This will also work with pressure plates. If you wanted the door so, you know, you just walk over a pressure plate, it opens. And then walk over another one, it closes. I wouldn't recommend having a pressure plate on the outside of your door, though, in case a mob was to walk over it. I personally, I prefer having buttons on the outside, pressure plates on the inside. So let me show you how this looks actually in place. So here we are on my community SMP and here is the mouse hole mansion. And I actually have one of these doors here right at the front. So we've got one switch on the outside. Oh. And then we've got another switch on the inside. So we can open and close it from both sides. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that is all there is to it. It's, it's really easy. Just put the, the two outputs going to whatever you want with a button or a pressure plate. Nice and easy. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you like it, subscribe or come over and catch me on Twitch where I stream three times a week on a Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Links are down below in the description and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.